You are a giant female anaconda in Venezuela. You're 13 feet long, and you are hungry. No, make that you are starving. And you've got your littlest eyes on the largest rodents on the planet, capybaras. Adults can grow more than four feet long and can top 100 pounds. You, the anaconda, can't really see your prey all that well, but your tongue pulls in scent molecules that tell you this is the massive meal you want to swallow in one prolonged gulp. Both you and the capybaras spend most of your time in the water. And one unfortunate capybara will have nowhere to hide when you hunt it at high speed. You slither underwater, popping your head out to make sure your aim is true. The big reason you're so focused on a satisfying meal is that you're about to mate, and only well-fed snakes breed successfully. Once you get pregnant, you won't eat again until your babies are born seven months later. So you'd better stuff yourself to the scales now. These birds can save themselves, but the capybara, well, <clears throat> it's a goner. Anacondas don't poison their prey, they ambush them. They bite, then coil around and crush the surprised creature to death. Your death grip is so fierce, the victim not only can't breathe, its blood can't circulate. You've suffered for this meal, the capybara took a bite out of you. But you get the last laugh. When your elastic jaws begin swallowing your enormous victim, head first. Your last meal before mating has taken six hours to ingest. Not digest, just get it into your gut. The digestion takes several days. After that, you'll be fit and full, ready for that successful breeding. <laughs>